comment about. It's probably Oh, just turn the goddamn thing off. AIDS is only transmitted through body fluids, and I couldn't possibly care less about the Phillies and the Dodgers. Had I known the drive was going to be this long, I would have bought a... Uh, what's something really 1987? A Walkman with me to keep myself occupied. What? Where are we? Uh, feel terrible. Vision just looks like a sheet of A4. Jeff? Are you okay? Ugh, I can't feel my legs. Don't worry, Jeff. I'll go get help. This is the worst headache ever. But I think I'm alright. Well, there is something about going on long trips that necessitates a need for ibuprofen like no other. It's getting dark. Better get the flashlight out of the trunk. A new car's made by GM weren't worth a fuck. My flashlight. Pick it up? No, we're just gonna go ahead and play the game willy-nilly entirely engulfed in darkness. Huh, I'm surprised I have the stamina to run this fast after suffering an almost fatal car crash that gave me a splitting headache. Isn't this music so complimentary to the game? That looks like a building in the distance. Maybe I can use the phone. Oh yeah, I forgot. This takes place 35 years in the past, so there's no cell phones and you had to pay every time a phone was available. Let's just hope it was some kind of bird who made that whistle. Looks like some kids drew a pentagram back here. You can also tell this is the 80s because everything related to and remotely constituting anything involving Satanism was attributed to what children were consuming. That's right, back then they thought Mario was gonna drag your kids to the pits of hell. No need to worry, Satanists are just edgy atheists. Overzealous interveners, everyone from parents to police to counselors, would question children. Some as young as two years old, in ways now known to produce false allegations. Children began to talk about animal sacrifices, blood rituals, secret tunnels, even cannibalism. Police would lay charges, prosecutors would take them to court, and the media would report uncritically on what seemed to be a growing threat. Authorities searched frantically for evidence of an apparent ritual abuse epidemic across North America. If I were those idiot Puritans, I would have just said, I hate rock and roll, and owned it. Well, maybe I couldn't bring myself to because I love rock and roll. What a creepy old shed. It's boarded up. <laughs> Look at me levitate over the cliff. <laughs> Looney Tunes moment. What a grand view of the canyon from up here. Up here! Uh oh you know, having gone all this way just for a phone call, would it really trouble us that much to go the other way? Any flares in the car? Maybe a ham radio? I don't know, but Jeff really screwed up. Out of all the beverages to bring on a long drive, Southern Comfort is not the optimal one. What the hell kind of society goes to church at this time of day? Or night? This is weird, and there's a guy up there. It's another shed. It looks exactly like the last one. Interesting. Check for an inverted pentagram. I can't use this door. It's rusted shut. This door is sealed shut. What the hell would put a door right next to a cliff? Where the hell did that other guy go? I guess this game might involve ghosts after all. What a creepy building. Ah yes, the floor is made out of floor. And that... That's us, SOL, and JWF. Get shit out of luck, luck and jolly, jolly well, well fucked. fucked. I wonder if Megan can actually smell the shit in the video game. I wonder if it reeks in her universe. The sinks are caked with grime. Oh, well, wasn't that enlightening? It's dark in here. How does that help? As for 
A kid actually did that to me once. He went up to my ear and whispered, Why are we even here in the first place? Going into the sugar tunnel is always the smart thing to do. Uh, are those my footsteps? Well, there's one less thing to worry about during the monthly period. Oh wait, you won't have one. You're dead! <laughs> what? We just got started! Damn. It's some kind of machine. I don't think I can use this. You can also tell it's the 80s because a lack of Marxist sentiment has resulted in the means of production not being seized. Do 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 do, walking in the dark. Do do do. <laughs> I hope this lower level of the facility won't doom us to a horrible fate. In case this point hasn't been made obvious enough yet, this place is more derelict than dig. What the hell was that? If that's a ghost, why can't I ask her if she's found any keys with paint splattered on them? I've got two. Does anybody remember the Nickelodeon slime? Yeah, on their game shows they used to quote unquote slime people. That's what this looks like. That's what I hope this is because it could be nuclear waste for all we know. Oh yeah, have you found a single phone anywhere in here? You know, it fascinates me that multiple people have been abducted over the course of years in this specific portion of the mountains, one of whom was a park ranger. So as far as we know, the state of Pennsylvania, wherever the abductions have taken place, have been so negligent for so many years because presumably they haven't even looked into the reoccurring serial abductions enough to take substantive action in an effort to deter what this guy is doing. You know why? Somebody from the state is in on it. It makes sense that they have someone on the inside to demoralize the investigation so the driller killer doesn't get caught. And they got NASA working on the space lasers and somebody's He's got the blue food. Somebody's got it. I wonder what they made here. Drills would be my best guess. Assuming these different pieces of equipment were placed here at relatively the same time, imagine bathing right next to where heavy industrial work is being done. They had to have lived here. Now there's got to be a phone where this door leads to. Down the ramshackle corridor. We're back to literally every indie horror game in 2013. If she's here, she wouldn't have gotten the keys since we have them. But if she had, would she have waited this whole time and suddenly ran once we came in? Pretty sussy. <laughs> I'm gonna act like I didn't see that coming from a mile off. Here, we're screwed either way. If we run back, we risk getting drilled. And what would be the point? If we keep going forward, we're, you know, going into the light and you know what that entails, which doesn't seem like a good idea in hindsight, but I'm not gonna act like all horror media protagonists don't get killed in the end. Well, I guess we rose up to the challenge and got the supposedly good ending. After all, despite the fact that you can't actually tell what happened to Megan, but oh well. Jeez, memorize your safe words next time! Alright, round two to get the sugar tunnel ending. And despite the name, it's something much more grisly than type 2 diabetes. Well, missed it there. I wonder why everything in this building besides the sugar tunnel looks like an industrial complex, while this looks like it's a ghetto. Is my ketamine pusher right around this corner? As a matter of fact, sugar's a good euphemism for K. Oh, was that noise? Comment below if you have any clue as to what could have caused that noise. Is that a honk? Pretty goofy for a homicidal maniac's network of confusing tunnels. What? They're still doing construction on a place like this? Well, they're doing a terrible job, but maybe the industrial capacity of this place hasn't been abandoned. I'm starting to think this tunnel network lies under an entire city. Back to the lake of melted green apple flavored popsicles. Good luck to anyone who tries to actually sell this property. Thus the importance of safe words! I knew something horrible was going on. Whoa, let's go round and round and round. I'm getting dizzy. Oh lord, this guy's into some freaky shit. The consent status of which is negligible. My goddamn 
zoo animal to you? Yeah, get a good look. You know it's the only reason you knocked me out. You're, you're not speaking human. You're gibbering. I don't speak gibberese. I can talk with three steaks and souffle in my mouth as well. This is the average roommate experience. Yeah, play me a lullaby before you quote unquote put me to sleep. And that, folks, is the Power Drill Massacre. We sincerely hope you've enjoyed this completely unnecessary commentary of gameplay of the Power Drill Massacre, and we hope that you have wonderful lives. Thanks for watching.